Oh shit, convertible. All right, we got a flight to catch in a few hours, so the last thing I'm gonna do in Iraq is get a haircut. His hair is getting grimy and greasy, and it's getting too long. It's always getting in my eyes. So we're gonna get touched up Iraqi style. Let's go. Getting the Baghdad buds. I've been seeing some really cool haircuts here, but I don't know if they're even possible with my hair consistency. Because some of these haircuts, they go like straight up. If he can do that, he's welcome to. Is our translator here? Yeah. You can tell him what you want. I can get a Iraqi style haircut. I don't know. Like how tall? Like, as tall as he can go. Yeah. Like, but they do up. Yeah. Yeah. So I've done Iraqi and then they say we can see the straight up. So I do what's fine for you. I don't know. It was all a cup of water. He says like I will take a lot from your hair if you want to spike it. Could you start? Yeah. Give it a shot. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yolo? Yeah. Only in Baghdad once. So he will cut like into here. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How about the sides? How about the sides? Yeah. They usually do zero. Like. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one? Yeah, but not zero. Yeah. Maybe yeah. just like him. Yeah. yeah, that's like a one. Okay, I'm not sure. Are you sure? Last decision? Yes, my hair can always grow back. Do you have a cigarette? Do you have a Yeah, do you, do you have a smoke? Oh, yeah. Do you mind? Okay. All right, great. I need a hoop, right? Fuck me up, bag daddy. Do you think my hair looks good? Yes. We're gonna have to go like straight from the air cut to the airport. I do look younger, right? You look like you did that 2010 video. Yeah. You resemble yeah. like that guy a lot more. Massage soda, huh? Massage? Yeah, sure. Massage. Oh, yeah. This feels good. This guy knows all the secrets. This is the fun part. I think this is gonna give me like three inches. I'm gonna be walking tall. sleep on the plane. I don't want it to mess up my do. All right, so how do I look? Good? Good? Yeah, you deserve that home. Right here, man. 
That is a wrap. I am done playing games with these hoes. I feel like I've become a new man in Baghdad. People ain't ready for the Baghdad Dawn. People ain't ready. Thank you. I'm forever indebted to you. How's that cold you, huh? Yeah, I got my groove back. New month. High five, man. How much do I owe him? 25. Okay, cool. Do you remember one? Yeah. It's like uh, less than twenty dollars. Less than twenty bucks for this cut. You know how much a haircut costs in New York? It can be like fifty to two hundred bucks. Thank you. I love it. No, we say Naiman. 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 I'm just doing great now, man. I'm doing great now. Do you like my haircut? I love you. <laughs> I love you too, yep. See, everybody loves me now. Men, woman, it doesn't matter. And you lose you, but it's model. I am irresistible. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you, man. We have a flight to catch. Okay. Uh, Facebook? Yeah, Donnie does. Although I did have the worst margarita of my life in Baghdad. Too many marks. <laughs> I'll always remember the city is where I got the best haircut of my life. These four days in Iraq have truly been the most eye-opening travel experience of my life. And while I'm not saying it should be everyone's top choice for their next family vacation, I sure was happy I came. The country still has plenty of serious issues they'll have to deal with in the coming years. Even while editing this series, I was reading headlines about its parliament being stormed and deadly heat waves. But as I've said before, Iraqis are resilient. And based on all the wonderful people I met, I'm confident that despite the obstacles, they'll continue finding a way to make it work.